In 1971, heavy spring rains erode a gully in Antelope County of Northeast Nebraska. Later that year, paleontologist Michael Voorhees makes an exciting find. Just about sundown when I came across a uh, skull of a baby rhinoceros sticking out of the bank and uh, scratched around a little bit and turned out that there was the, uh, the whole skeleton of this animal there. The discovery leads to a rich excavation of fossil remains, including complete skeletons. Today, this exceptional prehistoric record is Ash Falls State Historical Park. Ten million years ago, a volcanic eruption, probably in southern Idaho, blankets the region in a blizzard of gray ash. The abrasive dust clouds confuse and choke the animals. The fallout depth likely ranges from a foot on wind-blown high ground to eight feet or more in low-lying waterhole areas. The over 40 species of plants and animals unearthed depict an ancient Nebraska of subtropical grasses and patches of shrubby tree jungle. It was an environment similar to today's East African savannas. A 2,000 square foot barn protects the deposit and allows visitors to observe paleontologists and their ongoing efforts to reveal what this natural time capsule holds. Future brush and tool work could turn up new additions to the fossil species count. The visitor center further enhances this fascinating educational experience with displays and a fossils preparatory lab. Before you visit, check ahead of time for the park's seasonal hours. Ash Fall is near the lush Verdigree Creek Valley, a nice side trip awaits you amidst the Grove Wildlife Management Area. A handful of primitive camp spots are just offshore Grove Lake. Verdigree Creek not only feeds the lake, but the Grove Trout Hatchery, and you're welcome to tour that facility. Outside the hatchery grounds, anglers cast for rainbow trout in a stream that many consider one of Nebraska's best trout destinations. It's all just a short drive away from Nebraska's Prairie Pompeii. Travel back in time to Ash Fall State Historical Park.